All right, hello everyone. Here we are setting up for hole number five here. And what I'm going to do is let's see what I got, jungleist. That ain't gonna cut it. So what I'm going to do here is a Kingmaker um, Apocalypse for the uh, the curl. Um, the, sh the way that I'm going to go on this hole is to the right. I'm always going to go to the right on this hole um, for this wind. It'll kind of get it pointed a little bit more straight down for me, kind of the way that I want to see it. Um, I do want you guys to be aware that, you know, you don't need to have landscape, but the way that you go about probably executing the shot um, just needs to kind of be altered a little bit. If you just want to use, you know, full foam curl, for example, you have to get much more aggressive towards the right-hand side and, you know, be within a ring or two of the edge. And I try to stay between two and three rings. So I try to, you know, push it out one extra ring to give me that safety net um, is the way that I try to play this. And, of course, I don't go over to the left here because it's just going to give you straight side wind if you do that. So when you have your approach, you know, it's just going to be a straight angled wind. And that's the biggest reason that I don't go over this way. So what you're going to see me do, um, you can still get away with this with Extra Mile and also Thor's Hammer as long as they're, you know, at the point where they have about 40 curl. But what you'll see me do is I'm just going to kind of play it right off of here, right at max. And as I mentioned, kind of two to three rings as opposed to one to two. So I can get a little bit, you know, away from the edge to be safe here. And you can see that we're just going to go into landscape. Make sure that you don't add any additional power when you go to do this. <clears throat> and here you can see that it just kind of bounces up, heads straight towards the center here. Um, very, you know, centered into the, ver in, into the fairway versus if you go with a normal foam curl, you, you might have to play it just a little bit more aggressive. Um towards the edge and you will not get quite over there towards the right as much as I did as well. So another thing that you could start to do just to be as kind of a little bit safer is you could actually take off, you know, half a bar backspin, half a bar topspin or a full bar of topspin and try to get it to cut a little bit harder because you'll be able to apply that to the, to the side spin on a three power ball, three side spin ball. So that's what I would recommend. Um, for that hole going this way as I was mentioning, you know kind of Counterproductive in my opinion, you know giving you that nice straight side wind is really going to make things challenging here You can see that I get it up to uh, You know a situation where um, I can still you know have a slight angle which hopefully you know we can try to uh, you know, figure out and what you're going to see me do, I'm just going to kind of keep it a little bit short and to the right, just marginally because of wind effect. So I expect this ball to, you know, make it to the hole and I'll go very close to my max ring adjustment here. There's seven rings and eight and a half, give or take, for this shot. Perfect ball. <clears throat> Very, very close to max ring. Here it cuts in, cuts in, just misses. So, game of inches in this. You know, I've put together a pretty solid guide for you guys. Everything's kind of right on the edge so far um, for the most part. But they're just not quite falling for me today. <clears throat> but at the very least, you know, you can see very tight, um, well-played shots. And, you know, hopefully you guys will be able to get the ones that I missed to drop um, with good solid ring adjustments. You know, keep in mind that that, you know, it does play a little bit uphill there. So, um, you know, I was almost kind of cheating the way that I uh, went for full ring adjustment. You know, I did go full ring adjustment, but I didn't quite maybe do very much for my wind resistance. You know, for that uh, wind effect um, affecting my ball guide. So I kind of kept it real tight on the hole and just kind of almost just went normal 
8.6 when in reality, you know, probably the totality of what I needed to go was probably maybe like 8.1, 8.2-ish rings from my ring adjustment. You know, I need to kind of cheat it in from max a little bit um, with how much that I go. However, you know, the way that I kind of offset my guide was just kind of differs a little bit. So there's kind of multiple ways to go about doing it. But good luck with that fifth hole, guys, and uh, be on the lookout for hole six coming up.